you guys are interested in a fast and reliable ultimate team coin source, make sure you guys go check out thefootshop.com. All the links will be listed in the description below. Hey guys, what's going on? Russo here bringing you guys another player review today. And today guys, we are bringing you the Inform Fraser Canberra review. And uh, before we get started, just want to go ahead and thank one of my good friends, uh, Gilly Gills, guys. His link for his channel will be in the description. He is actually the owner of this Fraser Campbell. And uh, this guy is extremely rare on the Xbox market. Um, I'm not entirely sure about the PS3. I'm sure he's even more rare. Uh, you know, just basically due to the fact that not a lot of people are opening packs to begin with. Plus, this guy is a silver. So it's very difficult to find him. And uh, I cannot find one on the market for the past week or uh you know the past couple days um obviously he did come out on wednesday but luckily enough gilly gills did own one of him and uh, i'm able to review him for you guys so thank you very much to him make sure you guys do check out his channel in the description but let's go ahead and get into this review and uh, campbell was actually a pretty decent player guys as most of you guys know cardiff city is now in the bpl so he did actually have a great performance i believe it was against uh manchester city scored two goals or three possibly i'm not entirely sure uh what he did but this card is actually in the end power championships so you cannot link him up with any of the Barclays Premier League players just yet, guys. We will have to wait until FIFA 14 to be able to do that. So as you guys can tell, he did cost Gilly uh, 550,000 coins for a silver inform, which is absolutely incredible. And uh, it's pretty ridiculous if you do ask me, but I'm really surprised that he wasn't even more expensive. Uh, I was kind of expecting him to be around a million coins. He's English, guys. Um, if he was in the BPL, he'd probably be a million coins, but he is only in the Empower champ, and uh, he's extremely rare. So 88 pace on him, 74 dribbling 72 shooting 47 defense 59 passing and 72 heading does have three star wee foot guys and three star skill move and uh, as you guys can tell by the in-game stats he is a silver so they're not going to be anything really extraordinary uh, it is really difficult for a silver to have some amazing in-game stats he does have 80 finishing and uh, he definitely missed a lot of good opportunities in the early games but eventually i did kind of mold into him and figure out how to play with him and uh, he definitely capitalized on some great opportunities towards the end i believe he had two hat tricks uh, towards the last two games uh, uh, high attacking work rate guys and medium defensive work rates. Uh, the medium defensive work rates definitely are a little bit of a letdown uh, because he does seem to be more towards back. Uh, you know, the midfielder somewhere around there. But a uh, 90 acceleration, definitely one of the best things about Fraser Campbell. He's very pacey. 88 pace that you guys did see um, on his face card stat. So a very pacey player, very fast. And that is also one of the reasons why he is kind of expensive uh, because he is very fast for a silver player. Probably one of the fastest English silvers, although there are a ton of them. And, uh, you know, he is one of the best silver that the English do have but like I said guys he is extremely rare so uh, the other thing I wanted to touch upon is he is very very tiny as you guys can tell um, you know he does get bullied off the ball very easily but I, I really like playing with tiny players for some reason uh, it just seems like they're much faster and uh, much better than you know the stronger taller uh, m more slow I guess you could say uh, because most of the time the stronger and the taller uh, strikers are a lot more slow and they're not as pacey as these little small guys but I definitely do like the small guys I feel like they can fit into gaps easier they make better runs, and they just play overall better. Now, Campbell, you know, it did take me a little bit of time to warm up with him. Uh, beautiful little dribbling right there by him. He does have three-star skin moves, so you can do the you can do the step-overs, guys. You can do the roulette. You can do things like that. And uh, this is actually a really good example of his strength. was really surprised that Campbell was actually able to do this, and then he finishes it off right there with his weak foot, which was definitely impressive out of a silver player. So keep in mind, guys, that, we, that when we are doing this review, we are playing in the Gold Cup with an all-gold team that is surrounding him. Uh, just kind of built a generic BPL team around him guys uh, but did link him up with two Englishmen at the left forward and the right forward since we did play him in a 4-3-2-1 so just keep that in mind guys this is all against gold players um, so I'm sure he would do a lot better just facing silver cards uh, that are kind of on his level although he is very good because he just fits the FIFA mold the FIFA mold guys is pace and uh, basically some more pace if your striker has pace he's going to be able to score the ball um, you know because you're going to be able to create chances for him and uh, Fraser Campbell definitely did get his chances so he did make some fantastic run guys he is very pacey i mean his shot is nothing to brag about but it is very decent for a silver player uh, i just had to bear in mind while i was doing this review that fraser campbell is a silver so i can't really expect too too much out of him uh his dribbling is also excellent but basically guys he is a pace demon but he's still very good 74 dribbling which is pretty good as well and 72 shot and 72 shooting is not too bad he does have 80 finishing i do believe could be better did miss a lot of opportunities uh but unfortunately guys um you know, he just didn't finish as much as I would have liked him to. Uh, but it's a little bit unfortunate, but he is a very good card to say the least. 11 goals in 9 games, not too bad. 88 pace is definitely very good on a striker, especially when you're linking him up with a Walcott and an Oxlade Chamberlain. So, 
Three very good players up top. Campbell's awesome, guys. But hopefully you guys did enjoy this review. This is a kind of a one-of-a-kind review because this card is so rare on the Xbox market. But I thank you guys for watching so much. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. Let's shoot for 150 likes on this review. That would be incredible. But until next time, guys, this has been Urso, and have a good one.